Hello everyone, welcome to Gizmo China. I'm Kieran. We at Gizmo China have been testing gaming smartphones for the past few years. We've played with and tested almost all the gaming phones released in 2020. And I think there aren't any big gaming phones headed our way in the last three months of the year. So we decided to bring you guys a full comparison of the best 2020 gaming phones. The four candidates we selected are the brands ROG, Black Shark, Red Magic, and Lenovo Legion. There is still a niche market with only a handful of brands focused on the mobile gaming segment. The devices we selected are the latest models from these brands, the ROG Phone 3, Black Shark 3S, Red Magic 5S, and Lenovo Legion Phone. Thanks to Snapdragon 865 platform, they're all excellent gaming phones in 2020 with superb performance. But so far, we haven't brought all the latest models together to pit against each other. Let's change that today and let's check out which site sits on the throne of smartphone gaming in 2020. Let's start with their designs. All the models have distinct rear designs inherited from PC gaming hardware such as customized RGB logo and straight line metal shells, which set them apart from those ordinary flagships. The Black Shark 3S, the ROG Phone 3 and the Red Magic all inherit the brand's identifiable design from their previous models. While the Legion Phone is Lenovo's first gaming model, which has a very special design. Unlike the three others, the motherboard and main hardware including camera setups were placed in the middle. Although it looks a bit strange, the Legion Phone is the most effective model to solve the heating problem while holding the phone. And it creatively applies dual battery and dual charging design to top up its 5000 mAh with a superb charging efficiency of up to 90 watts. And looking at their front displays, they are all equipped with an eSport friendly large display as claimed. The sizes of their display ranges from 6.6 .6 to 6.7 inches. For the Red Magic 5S and the Legion Phone, their 6.65 inch displays share a lot of common features. They have the same 1080p resolution with the same 19.5 to 9 ratio. Both feature a 144Hz refresh rate and a 240Hz sampling rate, and a very similar color reproduction. On the other hand, the Black Shark 3S is the only one featuring a 6.67 inch, 120Hz display with a special 20 to 9 ratio and featuring the MEMC frequency doubling technique to boost the frame rate of regular streaming content at the hardware level. This means that the Black Shark model can provide smoother visual experience for video playback, but we found that the effect is not always stable even in the same video. The MEMC technology can handle some simple images, but is not very useful for highly dynamic images. However, among all the gaming phones, we think that the ROG phone's display is the best one. It's the only one supporting a 10-bit HDR and covering up to 113.3% of P3 color gamut. And more importantly, the display can boost the refresh rate up to 160Hz using a developer tool, which is the highest refresh rate that we could have on a smartphone so far. But pay attention here, under 160Hz mode, the color accuracy could be damaged. And then its 270Hz sampling rate is also the highest option in the market, which also unsurprisingly made it the best model providing superb touch operation in our actual gaming tests. Talking about their optimizations for gaming, three of them come with shoulder buttons, but for the Black Shark 3S, the special button operation is composed of only two pressure sensitive areas. The complete shift to pressure sensitive buttons is a bit surprising given how we felt the best shoulder button design ever was its on its predecessor, the Black Shark 3 Pro, that featured a pair of mechanical pop-up shoulder buttons. It gave us users a similar experience as we had on a gamepad. So we are very confused as to why Black Shark didn't retain the physical button design on the new 3S model. Anyway. Let's look back at the Master Touch Pressure Sensors, which is also an iconic design for every Black Shark model. However, compared to the shoulder buttons on the other models, the Pressure Touch buttons require a larger learning curve to get used to. It will take some time to adjust to the sensors and sometimes it may come in between your gaming experience, especially in the initial period. On the other hand, it's much easier to get used to the shoulder buttons on the other models, but the experience over these three models is a bit different. For example, the Red Magic 5S shoulder button features a super high sampling rate of 320Hz, which is even higher than its 240Hz display sampling rate. And compared to other models, the position of the shoulder buttons on the Red Magic model is also more comfortable for our fingers. Well, for the Legion phone, the buttons are not really in the right position for comfortable holding. And sometimes it was frustrating when we failed to touch the designated area to activate the button while gaming. Well, for the ROG phone, the buttons have more options for operations. For example, you can assign each of them into two shoulder buttons, or set them for sliding actions, or even reset each of them for macro play. But to be honest, most of them were too complicated to use in most games. The reason we want more buttons is to simplify our operation beyond touching the small display when holding the phone. But it seems that these complicated options help little and not really lead to a good gaming experience. 
Let's take PUBG Mobile as an example. No doubt the ROG phone has the best display operation and it has the highest sampling rate. Operating delay on the ROG model is almost imperceivable, which means that you may have the opportunity for a faster response, possibly knocking down the enemies quicker than others in a gunfight. The experience of the Red Magic 5G is also not bad. The good and fast feedback of the shoulder buttons make sure that your mapping operations like aiming and shooting can accurately locate enemies with a comfortable holding. However, on the Legion phone and the Black Shark 3S, the operation is not so comfortable. The additional buttons may cause mistouches sometimes. You have to be careful with the pressure level when setting the pressure sensing buttons on the display, or you may get confused between holding the pressure touch and the normal display touch in intense fighting. On the Legion model, your fingers would easily get tired when holding the uncomfortable shoulder buttons, or you could even miss the shooting and aiming operation by touching the wrong area of the buttons. As for performance, all these four models are equipped with the Snapdragon 865 platform, but only the ROG phone and the Legion phone upgrade the chipset to the Plus version. But it brings little difference in daily use and even in most games, especially so far considering heating issues. Almost all brands are pretty cautious on giving users access to the full power of the 865 platform. For example, Black Shark 3S and the Red Magic 5S would warn you about the heat issue when turning on the best performance mode, while the ROG phone would even check whether you have attached a cooling fan when you try to turn on the best performance mode for games. If you were not playing with a cooling fan attached, the ROG phone would close it and automatically switch to level 2 of performance mode. In the performance comparison, we are going to compare their highest performance as a single model without any accessories. First, let's see how they performed in some benchmarks. In 3D Mark, although the two equipping the 865 Plus chipset did not reach the 10% improvement as claimed, they still achieved 6% higher performance compared to the other two running the 865 chipset. In Geekbench 5, the improvement of the 865 Plus is mainly reflected on the single core results, and the improvement is much closer to the claimed 10%. Specifically, the ROG phone still won the single core race over the multi-core test. The results of the four models was pretty close. And what's interesting is that the highest multi-core score belongs to the Black Shark 3S, but not one of the two models with the 865 Plus chipset. In the Antutu benchmark, the ROG phone still won the test, and the results were also similar to what we got in 3D Mark. And then let's check out their gaming performance. In PUBG Mobile, as we tested at 120 FPS frame rate, except for the ROG model, the other three can still reach an excellent frame rate at over 110 FPS. Especially for the Legion model, it remained at the most stable level without much fluctuation. However, another model running the 865 Plus chipset, the ROG model was disappointing as it could only run at 99.9 FPS on an average without the ROG cooling fan. As we tested it last month, the frame rate level was similar to what we got on the Legion model. But after a software update, things changed. In terms of the heating issue, we are not allowed to turn on the level 3 performance mode on the ROG model without the cooling fan and it seems that Asus is forcing their users to buy the official accessory for the best performance of the phone. Well, in 2K20, things got a bit better for the ROG model, which went up one place to number three, followed by the Black Shark 3S at the bottom, while the Legion phone and Red Magic 5S maintained their leading places. Especially for the Red Magic model, it's amazingly reached at 117.3 FPS, but at the same time, heated up in a few minutes. But we will talk about the heating test later. And then we ran Nimian Legend as a stress test. The Legion phone was dominant over all the other models with a frame rate of 75.29, and the Black Shark 3S was catching up with the Red Magic model and ranked in second place. The ROG model without the fan accessory was still a bit left behind with a frame rate of 67.6. As an eSports smartphone, battery life and charging performance are also what gamers are concerned with. They're all equipped with large batteries and fast charging, especially for the Legion phone. Along with the 5000 mAh dual battery, it surprisingly features a dual USB-C charging channels and the charging can be up to 90 watts. Although the ROG phone supports the largest 6000 mAh battery, it only supports up to a 30 watt PD fast charging. The other two models also had great charging performance with over 50 watt charging efficiency. In the race to full charge, the Legion no doubt took the lead. The Black Shark model and the Red Magic model are only around 4 mins and 9 mins behind respectively. And unlike the Legion phone, they only require one charging port. As for the ROG model, the whole charging test took us over 1 hour and 40 minutes, which is too slow for a gaming phone. And then we did a test about their power consumption for gaming. After 30 mins of NBA 2K20 gaming and another 30 mins of PUBG Mobile gaming, the Black Shark 3S won the competition with only consuming 22% of the power. 
although it doesn't have the largest battery, so it was pretty efficient. The ROG model's largest battery also performed well with 75% power left, while the Red Magic model was in the bottom place with an unbelievable 42% of power consumption, which is really unacceptable. So overall, if you are a gamer who cares about battery and charging, just forget about the Red Magic model and make your choice between the ROG and Black Shark, especially for Black Shark 3S. We really like the phone and would pick it as our first choice. In addition, we were also curious about the heating issue of the Snapdragon chipset. So we recorded all of the four models temperatures after 30 minutes of gaming. We could see that both the ROG and the Black Shark models had good temp control. While the other two models easily got heated up at over 46 degrees Celsius. But on the Legion phone, we didn't really feel the heat when holding it, as the internals are placed smartly to avoid radiating heat to your hands. So overall, we believe that the Legion phone can work independently unleashing its max performance among the four, while the ROG phone also has the potential to challenge the Legion phone, but you still need to attach the cooling fan. But if you care more about the operating optimization, the ROG and Red Magic models should be the better choices. And the Red Magic model has excellent performance for gaming. However, it heated up so quickly, the Black Shark provided a balanced performance even though it doesn't come out as first in most of the tests. So that's it. How do you like these four candidates? Just share your thoughts and comments with us below. And don't forget to click the subscribe and like button if you want to see more such comparisons. Thank you guys, I'm Kieran, we'll see you soon.